The next topic is procuring non-stock material. So the first question that you might have is, what is a non-stock material? And of course, the follow-up question is, why is procuring stock material or non-stock material any different from one another? Let's explore that. In our coffee shop, we procure coffee beans. We also procure stirrers. Is procuring coffee beans any different from procuring stirrers? Well, purely from a logistics perspective, they are not different. Maybe they require separate storage conditions, separate packaging. But beyond that, purely from a logistics perspective, they are not different. The vendor loads them up in the truck. The truck is unloaded at our warehouse and we go stock them in the respective storage locations. So what really is different? Well, for starters, coffee beans represent a significant value. 100 pounds of coffee beans, say $10 a pound, 100 pounds of coffee beans is $1,000. But 100 quantity or 1000 quantity of stirrers is probably 10 or 20 dollars. So there's a lot of difference in the value. So purely in terms of stock keeping, it doesn't make any sense to count the stirrers. Oh, I got 1200 stirrers. I got 222 stirrers. Does it make sense? No. It's just a waste of time and energy to count the value of stirrers or even the stock of stirrers. And before we go any further, since we are talking about a topic called valuation, let's take a quick detour and understand what really is valuation. 